On this episode of Auto Greaser, the Cummins Swap Diesel C10 is getting a much needed intercooler. The issue that I ran into is that after cutting the intercooler pipe, you have to actually add a bead to the edge to keep the pipe from blowing off under boost. All the cut edges of your intercooler pipe have to be bead rolled. Problem is, I don't have a bead roller. So it looks like I'm gonna have to make one. I've got two and a half inch pipe and I've got a two inch electrical conduit clamp that has an indentation. As I can put this indented clamp around here, use my other clamp that I've welded on here, pretty much use an exhaust clamp, whatever you want. And then basically try to bite down into the center of this and go around and see how it works. Can you tell which edge was crimped from the factory and which one I did? Well, obviously this is the one that's crimped from the factory because my edge is a little bit longer on the side. But for my first test, that is flawless. For my two and a half inch intercooling piping, all I used was this two inch connector and my round exhaust hanger that is welded to my vice grips. You clamp the vice grips down and then that has a place to go and you just kind of go around the edges. If it starts to deform the inside and make it not round and kind of kink it, you can go back on the inside and literally just bend this back and it's really easy to work with so man that's perfect i'm actually more impressed with those results than i was thinking i figured it was going to be big doo-doo but she's ready to roll So it has to have something that the clamp <coughs> can't burst off. So a bead roller is anywhere from 80 to $180. It works out so good and so well and so fast and so easy. I'm like, I'm so glad I saved the shop space and the money on one of these because it's not every day that I build an intercooler. And I took that radius and I put it on my tool and I welded it on the end of my vice grip. Now you could actually position it on there and hold it there. Or you could actually take this and tighten it up against your pliers without having to do any welding. I sure the heck beats spending $80 on a bead roller that I'll probably only use once. When everything is all said and done, come up with beautiful results like this. If you look on the inside, it's still got a nice diameter to it. That's special. The one on the left is the factory one. The one that I have is on the right. The spacing is a little bit different between the two, but they're gonna do the same job. Works really good. So here's the close up of the tool. This is your EMT clamp. And I've got my vice grips on the inside. And when I release them, this is my radius. And so my radius is basically going around the circle on the inside. And that EMT clamp has an indentation. So my radius is going up into that indentation. It's forming my nice little bead all the way around there. And like I said, if you start to get these little flat parts here, you can take your radius and start bending them back. This one here had a couple indentations and I bent it back. For what you're doing, it's pretty flawless. This is the type of clamp that I used and literally without a welder, you could clamp that right up to your vice grips and have no problem. I've got my $80 eBay intercooler all piped in, all mocked up. Soon I'll be cleaning everything up, getting everything clamped down, and getting the intercooler mounted, and all ready to go for a test drive. It's that fast. Well, I still have to remove all the vacuum pumps I had to move out of the way. I actually had to take and plasma cut the holes for the intercoolers, which then I had a fire underneath on my oil pan. You can see the extinguisher dust down there. My extinguisher currently says empty, so thank you for tuning in to this very brief but informative episode of Modern Grease Over. Make sure you like this video if you liked it. Make sure you like this video if you hated this and be sure to subscribe. Coming up, we'll be doing the intercooler install on this. I found the perfect size intercooler for a 63C10 and it was all just guess. I didn't realize that there was an actual space in there but it is the absolute flawless setup for a C10. So if you want those measurements and you want that intercooler, 
stick around because I know a lot of you guys might be turbocharging your trucks or maybe even diesel in them. But uh, if you do, stay tuned and I'll send you a link for that. It's on eBay. It's pretty awesome for $80. Well, we'll see if it's awesome once it gets going.